Today we're going to make some poison dart frogs, which are very brightly colored and they have lots of black decoration on their back. First mission for today is take a frog and trace it. Make sure your pencil touches the frog. You may have to have a neighbor help you hold it down in the hard parts like those skinny little legs. And if you go too far, don't worry about it because eventually your little froggy friend will get cut out. So I'm chasing him all the way around. Almost there. One last leg. There you go. And I'm not worried about where I got out of the line because it'll get cut. I also need my name on here before I forget. Now, if we're not cutting these yet, we will cut them later. We want to get the paint done today. So the poison dart frog has black decoration. So that's what we are adding. And in your paint set, you have to look at your paint set. The black is usually on one of the ends. So this is the black. That one's purple. Not using purple. <laughs> and when we're ready to paint, you get your brush wet, make it do a little dance in the black, and then we paint. Your first mission should be to paint your eyeballs so you don't forget about it. And then you get to paint decoration on your frog. Make sure your brush stays really wet so the paint looks nice and smooth. If it ever looks dry, that means your brush was super thirsty and it needed a drink. Also, we need to still see these pencil lines. So when you're painting, be careful that you don't paint over them because we have to see them so we can cut it out next time we come. And you can even paint in the little toesies, his little legs. And once you have black on every main part of your frog's body, you know, arms, hands, legs, feet, his back, then he needs to go on the drying rack to dry.